is going on guys it's will back with another video in the burnout barn with patrick like normal and the last video i filmed we were working on his 2015 mustang that was having a little bit of engine issues and the reason i wasn't really showing the engine bay is because there's nothing in the engine bay and it's sitting right here so long story short uh, if you watch that video, cylinders 2 and 3 had super low compression on them, like 20 and 30, when the rest of them were reading like 150 or so, right Patrick? 135, 140. Yeah, so around the 135, 140 kind of area. So apparently all these Ford uh, 2, 3 EcoBoost motors, or not all of them, but a good bit of them are having issues with the head gaskets and such. What ended up happening is basically his motor was bad and... He's got a new motor sitting over here, which is, um, it's got a decked head and ARP head studs and a bigger turbo right there. There you can kind of see a little bit of the size of that turbo. It's kind of hard to see through the, uh, this whatever, saran wrap or whatever. We pulled the motor yesterday and uh, spent almost all day trying to get that thing out, which it wasn't too, too hard. I was actually thinking with it being a 2015 car, it was gonna have like a bunch more wiring than something like his 240 the LS1 in it. But uh, I mean, for it being a new car, it was pretty straightforward and actually not too difficult to get the motor out of here. Got this sick new engine stand from the good old Harbor Freight. Just assembled that bad boy. Can't beat it for 60 bucks. I know, for real. If you guys are new to the channel, this is Patrick's super sexy LS1 hatch. The badass mobile. Oh yeah. And then the other two two forties sitting over there. Patrick's coupe. Oh shit, you can't see. And then my hatch right there. Okay. Get it, Patrick. Put the engine up all over to you. Can you hold on to it or something just in case? I'll have these fast cat like refluxes. So this is the first time we've used this engine stand. It's like literally, we just put it together 10 minutes ago. We got some bolts. Aren't the ones on this side came from the car, right? From when we took it out? Those two. Okay, and then we put a nut and a bolt. We just found a random nut and made it work pretty good. I don't know if it's just me. Let me turn it around so you can see it. Dude, I have always thought it's so sexy to see a freaking engine on a stand. Oh dude, it's coming out more. We just plugged that thing up with a towel. A different one. It's like super crazy. I was spinning around so you seat in the light. Yeah, there's coolant all over the place. Oh shit, it's leaking oil now. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. All right, so we took the wrapping off of uh, Patrick's motor here. You can see just how sick this freaking turbo looks, dude. We'll pull like, the thing off for him. Yeah, all right, so just for comparison's sake, I mean, this is not like a huge turbo, like in the world of turbos, but like, you see that, and here's like my hand, or like a few fingers for reference, and then... We'll just take the cap. Yeah, take the cap. We'll show you the old turbo. Yeah, dude. Hold it like down, down below it. Pretty big difference, dude. Yeah, that's... That's nice. So Patrick said that um, this setup, it's never been dynoed, but based off like some of the other EcoBoost with the same mods. Um, I would say around 340 to the wheel, maybe. About 340 um, wheel, maybe horsepower. And then what, about the same in torque or a little bit more torque? Torque, these are a little bit more torquey than horsepower. So. 380. So. The important part here, this one can safely make, should be making he safely. Told me 400 to the wheel. 400 safely. To, safely. I told him I want it tuned safely because this is my daily. Yeah. He said this will be safe, 400 to the wheel. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Patrick's blinding me over here, people. So, yeah, this thing is going to freaking move. It's going to be so sick. And uh, we don't know because, you know, it's not like it's some massive turbo, like some race car stuff, but it is aftermarket turbo, so we're hoping it'll make a bunch of cool race car noises and stuff like that. It's and just, twin scroll still, so it's yeah. just full quick. I'm yeah, pretty it's, sure it's a ball bearing turbo. 
It's gonna I'm be debating. Sick. I wonder if I can switch my aftermarket wastegate to that one. Cause that wastegate probably can. I don't know if this wastegate is better or, or what. I'll have to ask him. Yeah. Tuner. Be easy to swap it real fast before I put it in the car. If any of you guys watching have ever like ordered a newer motor, not just like an older, like an LS or a JZ or like what most people do, but like this isn't a complete engine. Is this normal for some of them to come with no valve cover or like what's? Or if it's just the person I bought it from. Yeah, like what's the deal with that? I personally don't think that's very smart, but I could be wrong. It might yeah. just throw oil in it and change it after 10 minutes you run it and you'd be good. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. It should be fine. I mean, if this guy's... He's built, he has built engines. This is not even a built engine. This yeah. is stock, short block, focus RS head, uh, valve train. And then it has the precision turbo, uh, bigger turbo. You got J, J E Pro head gasket, I believe. Okay. APR head studs. ARP. ARP? Yeah. Okay, my bad. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. ARP. ARP head studs. I'm pretty sure that's what people say. It's yeah. it's a com it's a really common Whatever, they know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. The the main one that like everybody uses. Just like you get head studs, yeah. the head shouldn't separate, hopefully no head failure gasket or head gasket. <laughs> head failure gaskets. <laughs> oh dude, that's that's a meme right there. We're gonna make that a shirt one day. <laughs> but yeah, and uh apparently the short block was came out of his car, the tuner. This this exact one? The short block. Not the head, but just just the short block, the pistons, the crank. He said it came out of his car, which was the EcoBoost. Yeah, I guess he bought for testing. He said it has roughly 500 miles on it, but I'm so kind of thinking he's a tuner. Maybe he beat the shit out of the short block, and I don't know it. But you better I, not have. I'm I'm having good hope that the block, the short block's good. I just didn't even think about it because he didn't tell me until I ordered it that it was his short block. Hmm. But well, he said 500 miles, but is that 500 at the drag strip? Yeah, like that's, that's <laughs> a big difference. Or is that from driving around the street? Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll find out sure enough. Yeah. This is super random, but I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people since my channel's still small and like this might be the first video you've ever seen. We should show them your freaking sick ass Cosmos wheels you got. Patrick got these badass. You can see them sitting back there. The Cosmos. Wheels. I wouldn't be sitting back here if my engine didn't blow up. Oh, by the way, this is this is it. This is all the parts that came out of his car before we took the motor out, which is not a lot, not a lot at all. It's perks of having a car that should have had a V8 but didn't. Yeah, there you go. Because I have a big engine bay. Oh shoot! I didn't know you're coming this way. I need to get this out of the way. I wasn't even paying attention. That's for the hood. Straight from Japan. Oh yeah. Just kidding. I don't know where it came from. They're uh, I think I found out on the internet, but I don't remember now. A lot oh, of yeah. I looked up these wheels on the internet, and a lot of them are have Japanese writing in YouTube videos. So like this must be common overseas. I'm pretty sure they're um, if I remember right, they're they're Korean, which is fine. Yeah. Korean stuff's still super good. Well, it's I, not quite as good as like Japanese, but. I ain't hating. How can you hate on this? Yeah, for real. That's nice. So it's a new day. We picked this up like two days from when I just filmed that last clip. And uh, yesterday, you can see I came down here. My 240's not here right now, which uh, actually I got all that stuff that I was doing that I said I was going to do, which is like the dash bar. And I'm pretty sure a good bit of it's still sitting over here. I don't think you can really see now you can't see that because it's dark but all the dash bar and the wiring and everything for the roll cage I got that squared away yesterday and then today took my car to top garage to get the roll cage so that's gonna be really sick I'm pretty sure he'll be done like Friday or Saturday or something so definitely stay tuned I'll make a video going on there talking to Chris Chris is a really cool dude badass fabricator Formula Drift Pro 1 driver at one point just super super awesome dude so definitely make sure you watch out for that video and now we are back working on um patrick's motor this is the old motor that we pulled out and probably a few clips ago 
for anybody out there that might be either having issues with their EcoBoost or just wanting to um, like upgrade the turbo like Patrick's doing, and you're probably gonna ask what turbo this is, um, we are pretty sure, Patrick said that his tuner didn't say exactly what turbo it is for whatever reason. It does say the turbo brand, it just doesn't say what size it is. It's just yeah. slightly bigger, it's like a little bit bigger. So we're pretty sure it's this one right here, if you can see that. It's called a Precision Turbo or Turbonetics. It's got an NX2 compressor and it is a, let's see, 60 millimeter compressor wheel. So it's not a tiny turbo by any means. It's actually, if I remember turbo sizes correctly, it's actually not too small at all. But uh, yep, for all you guys wondering in the comments, I knew I was gonna get questions about it. So that is that sexy turbo that's sitting right there. Make your face. Grunt face. Make your grunt face. Let's <laughs> we'll see it. <laughs> get it, big boy. Ooh. What is it, Patty? Like a foam? Or if it's just a lot of dirt. I don't know how it would've got there though. What is this material, people, in the comments? I'm so thirsty. Hey, Pat Ricky. What? What's the name of your tuner? If anybody uh, else, Adam? Goes by Tune Plus. Tune Plus. So if any of you people want the same setup with the upgraded turbo, and the ARP head studs and all that such, you can go through Adam. Is he pretty shit. Is he pretty popular in the EcoBoost world, Patrick? Very. Okay, good. So I think I'm gonna end this video right here. I don't really know how long it's gonna turn out to be because it's filmed like over like three days or something. But it's if I keep filming, it's just gonna be like more of just putting more stuff on here. And I think putting the motor in the car will actually just be a different video altogether. So. Uh, Definitely, if you like this video, make sure you drop a big like down below. And if you really like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned for more. My uh, 240's at Top Garage right now. I'll be picking that up tomorrow. And Gracie's going to bombard this shot with some vape in here. So. Bye.